Hello and welcome to another review by me, The Whiskey Snob. My name's Tolga and today I am going to treat you guys to something a little bit special. You have to forgive me for uh, the quality of the video. I'm uh, recording live from the wine cellar of, um, of Boca, one of my favorite restaurants in Dubai, based in the Dubai International Financial uh, Center District. Um, and uh, today what we're going to do is actually I'm going to I'm opening up, I'm actually hosting a, a whiskey tasting here this evening and I've got an array of uh, different um, Isla whiskies, especially Ardbegs. So um, being a bit of a special evening, a bit of a special tasting, uh, one of the whiskies that are being tasted and reviewed this evening is the um, Supernova. Again, please forgive me because the lighting is a bit too good and it's creating a little bit of a uh, reflection of the bottle so you can't really see it but that's um, 2014 committee release um, Supernova from Ardbeg let's pour myself a little bit there beautifully golden coloured you can see it The, um, the alcohol content is uh, 55%, uh, which would be quite nice. So it's actually, I like my whiskies to be around 47, 48%. So 55% is going to be fantastic. I might actually make use of this, uh, this little graph of water here to open it up. Wow. On the nose, absolutely amazing. Rich fruit. But fresh, fresh fruit. A little sweetness from almost like some honey. And there's the peat now. I was actually quite wondering, you know, I'm experiencing all this beautiful, rich, fruity sweetness, but I was still waiting for that Ardbeg peat to come and give me a little kick, and there was just none of it so far. But three or four noses in, it's, um, it's really coming to the fore now. Beautiful. That's a big hair. It's rich, vanilla, strong fruitiness on the palate. Heavy charcoal. And a little bit almost like burnt popcorn. It's um, burnt caramel popcorn. Really, really, really nice. If I do, my <laughs> just so rich and creamy, absolutely wonderful. Now comes the uh, now comes the art bag sort of characteristics. Pete. Car, but that fruit is unbelievable. Um, it's not tropical fruit. It's literally it's like rich orchard fruit. Um, really, really ripe. Drop of water in there just to give it a little, to give it a little squeeze. The finish is fantastic. It's not hot. It's not peppery, but it's very, it's very long and very lingering. The, the marriage between the sweetness and the, the peat really sort of almost coat the tongue in a layer of creamy sort of flavour. 
and it's almost I can almost still chew, you know, chew the the, the taste of my in my mouth. Absolutely fantastic. Now, considering this is a fifty-five percent, sorry, a lot of noise because the kitchen is over there. Yeah, considering this is fifty-five percent, adding a little bit of water to it shouldn't do it too much harm. If anything, it should open it up nicely. The nose has opened up a little bit, giving it a bit more of a floral sort of aroma. The woody tones are now coming through as well. On the palate, the sweetness has come down quite a lot. It's been quite subdued. Uh, more of a bitter sort of peat has now come through, a bit of char, some slight mustardy sort of mustardy sort of um, bitterness. Phenomenal, it's still fantastic. It has affected the finish though. The finish is not as creamy, not as rich as it was when I first drank it, um, which is a bit of a shame really. But uh, yeah, um, for those that don't know, the 2014 Supernova was a special release. It was uh, to celebrate um, the vial of whiskey that had been sent to space. They, I beg had done a, I beg had done a bit of an experimentation to see what how whiskey would react um, in space. And um, they only sent the vial, it's not like they sent the cask or anything. Uh, but as part of the marketing ploy, they, they created um, a range of different um, whiskies, including Galileo and Supernova. Uh, but this is a 2014 release. Uh, funny story about this obviously, if you're a collector and a, and a consumer like I am, um, you'll try and get your hands on more than one bottle at a time for as decent a price as you can. And um, this bottle in particular, I found. Um, considering I live in Dubai, uh, I, I found it in a um, in a wine store, or a bounty uh, bounty hunter wines in California of all places, um, and I had to get them to send it to a friend who then had to mule it back to me here. It was just complete like, well, it's a it's a bit of a challenge. The logistics is a challenge, but you know I got it. Um, I did have another bottle which is finished, but this obviously I've been saving and I wanted to share with some friends this evening, which. We will do. Maybe I'll take some pictures um, and maybe a couple of live videos of the guys having a tasting session later on this evening and uh, I'll post them onto the Facebook page. You're more than welcome to go and have a look at them there. Uh, once again, thank you very much. I'm the Whiskey Snob. See you again. Ciao.